There are many devoted workers in the county government of Nyeri, but Eva Ngema's work is exceptional. For the six years Ngema has worked at the Nyeri County Referral Hospital's morgue, she passionately loves it and would never trade it for another. Ngema prides herself in being the lead in what is predominantly a male-dominated career at one of the busiest and largest facilities in the entire Mount Kenya region. Her fierce compassion for the departed's dignity began after the demise of her mother when she found her true calling. She holds a deep desire to give the dead the honor and respect they deserve while demystifying the long-held stereotypes associated with her career. Nevertheless, her job was not easy to come by as she was often turned down by the mere fact that she is a woman. Since 2014, that was after the death of my mom, which really, it hit me somehow, which made me start looking for this job. Okay, my normal day starts from 6. I arrive at work at 7. Start my duties, cleaning disinfecting the areas, then attend to the bodies, receiving, embalming, then at around five, that, that's when my day ends. Okay, most I can say it's prayers. Without prayers, I don't think you can make it. And also, it has to be a passion in you to work in such a facility. Okay, for me, I'm a mother of two, and about balancing my work and family, that has never been a challenge to me. Okay, for one to work in a mug, you can't just tell somebody to start working in a mug. I've, like I've said, to work in a mug, it, it depends so much on with your passion. It is something that comes from your heart to deal with the dead bodies. You can't just wake up in the morning and say, I'll start working in the morning because I want to earn something. No. You have to be passionate about what you do. Okay. From receiving a body, once you receive it, you have to tag it. You clean it thoroughly. Then you take it to the embalming lab. You embalm it. And when you, you get a successful process, you clean it again. Then you put it in the coolers. About receiving bodies, there are, some, there are times you receive mutilated bodies, decomposed bodies, but we still work on them because we are there for that. Actually, I've there, I'm there in eight and every post-mortem. I never miss even one. Right now we have a capacity, our Kura has a capacity of 15, which also it's going to, it's doing good. Sometimes we do require counseling because right now we have this pandemic, some of us are very, there are some who have that small heart that you need to be counseled once, one, once in a while, but they do offer counseling. I attended my mortuary science training in the University of Nairobi Shiromo campus of which I did a certificate and it was good for me and I'm glad. To the governor Mutahi Kahiga I can say he has been he has been so good. For us we have seen him working. He has done a very good facelift of the mortuary. The outside the landscaping and also the cabros. This road leading to the mortuary from town I can say he has done exemplary well. His work is good and we are happy because of what he has done. For us workers, he has been good also. He has been offering us visits. Joseph Miner, Eva's colleague, commended the good work she has been doing, noting that she is a model leader. In 2014, I
andu maturite muriro aba makigira miri no riu ni anatuthondekire gacindi gaka mochari arasoka araturorera barabara eno ya mochari turekirirora mitondu ku bandu barakinyaga ngona andu magikua miri ugu maga twara barabara ngari ciagite kuingira no riu ni atuthondekire wega Dr Robert Ngunjiri applauded the work being done by Eva adding that she is committed to her work and leads her team in an exemplary way we have uh... Uh, motivated our staff by, by way of training. The one who is in charge there, the lady who is in charge, has undergone uh, a six month training at Nairobi University Mochari uh, in Chiromo. And uh, she came back with a certificate. She is now a qualified motetian. Uh, and uh, we have also increased the number in terms of staffing. Uh, from the, the initial, they, they used to be three and they really used to struggle. Currently there are six who are working there and uh, uh, the four, five, four, five of them are, are trained. Uh, it's only one who is uh, on job training. So we can, we can say that uh, they are doing a great job and uh, generally they have improved the, the services in that facility. From uh, the inlet to the, to the, to the mortuary itself, a, a very nice uh, tarmac load has been done, uh, which comes all the way from uh, from the from uh, where we would call out patients around until it goes up to uh, the, the entrance to the mortuary and all the way the road. Uh, and when you can get into the mortuary, then uh, the outside has been done. Cabros has been has, has been has, has been put in. Uh, we have put uh, put up a nice uh, waiting bay where those who, wait, who are waiting to be served uh, can be able to sit and they can be able to, uh, to shield, shield them, themselves from either rain or a lot of sunshine. Uh, in addition, we have now brought in some uh, coolers for the bodies. Uh, we have a cooler for 15, 15 body coolant, a modern one. And uh, we, we, we are actually planning that in the near future we are going to add another extra 15 coolant bed. We are in the process of purchasing quite a number of equipment. Uh, we, 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 are, we are in the process of buying a body, a body trolley, a modern body trolley. For the, actually the, the procurement process is, has, been, has, gone, it has already gone through. So actually all what I have said, mm. I, I, I want to say it here and, and, and it comes clearly has been done within the, the second gov county government. That is under the, 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 current, the current governor of uh, His Excellency Mutai Kahiga. Uh, otherwise, before that, no renovations had taken place in this institution. Yes. The county government of Nyeri has also upgraded mortuaries in Mukurune and Karatina sub-county hospitals. This report has been compiled by the governor's press unit.